Hey everybody, today we are going to make a tire the easy way. Well, maybe it's not the easiest way, but at least it's it's fairly easy and it's something that uh, I think everyone will be able to do fairly quickly. So, let's get started. What we're going to focus on today is looking at some type of dune buggy tire. So, something a little bit rounded, maybe kind of puffy. So we're going to start off with a torus. So let's just bring out a torus. Something around that size. And I'm just going to rotate it up. Make sure you've got angle snap on. That helps get, get it up actually 90 degrees straight. Just another note. Press J to get rid of your little selection brackets. G to get rid of your grid if you don't want it in there. Okay, so we've got uh, some type of tire. Well, yeah, I'm just going to scale it out slightly out the sides. And convert that to an editable poly. Alright, I'm going to get rid of some of this unneeded geometry in the middle. Selecting these edges. Ring it. Delete. Okay, maybe grabbing uh, those two borders. I just want to push this out slightly. Maybe grow that selection a little bit and push that out again. Just so it's not too rounded on the inside. Okay. So we're ready to get our treads on. Now there have been some other tutorials that you make a, a series of treads flat and then you connect them all up and then you use some bend modifiers things like that for this one we're not going to do that we're going to use the tool called array so let's start off first by creating a box so a box something around that size and you could put a uh, one width one width segment in there <clears throat> and you'll see why in a few minutes so from there let's align that to the actual torus so with your box selected let's go up to the top and hit align and then select your torus okay make sure you got pivot point on both current objects and target objects <clears throat> excuse me and also have all your position values uh, checked on orientation doesn't matter at this point and hit OK so you can see that we've got that in the center okay what I'm going to do is just rotate this 90 degrees and there's a couple different ways um, that we can do this next step what we want to do is be able to rotate it and in this case it's rotated in X we want that box to be able to rotate around the perimeter of this. Currently it's in the middle, so it just rotates around that one spot. So we have to move the pivot point. Or we can move the element and leave the pivot point there. So let's try that. So in the modify, let's first create, the, create an editable poly out of that. And select element. And then select that box. So if we move that box out somewhere so it kind of intersects the side of that tire and then just deselect that to go back in the object mode then we've got it. So if I rotate this it follows along the outside of that tire. All right, so it keeps the pivot point in the middle even though when I have the element selected it looks like the pivot point is here but it's not that's just the element pivot we're worried right now about the object pivot and that's where it is here in the center okay so um, we are going to use the array tool so now that we have that set up just move it over to the side because we're going to bring the array box in into this area so tools array and we'll bring it up somewhere around there just so we can see so we hit preview okay there's no change 
there are actually ten newly created boxes in there actually nine plus the original <clears throat> as you can see we've got a count of ten they're all instances of each other which is what we want so if we if we edit one the rest become edit editable as well so if we move a vert on one all the verts on the other ones move at the same position now right now they're all on top of each other and that's because we have no uh, value, no positional value, no rotational value to show for, to, or to speak of. So if we look at the X rotation, which we know that this is here, and we start just scrubbing through that, we can see that, wow, these boxes are actually on top of each other. Okay, so what I want to do is make 360 degrees. And you can try changing the count Right, something like, I don't know, let's say that. I've got 26, that's fine. And then uh, make sure instance is on and hit OK. Right, so it's at the point now where if you select one of these verts, you can move it. Right, and all the other ones update. 